I'm back. Um, <laughs> this is just a quick update um, for the MN challenge. Okay, so I was doing really good the first month, but the second month, not so much. Um, I whipped up a whole new batch. It's in the bathroom. I'll bring it back when I do my link check. Um, but I barely even use it. I think I probably used it maybe four times, but that was toward the second half of the second month. So I probably was really only consistent with using the MN for the first month. So my results may not yield the fantastic results of others. Um, but after this, I'm pretty much through with the um, MN challenges or all these other little things. Um, I'm going to still continue to deep condition my hair and all that good stuff. Can y'all see my color? Sorry if it's looking a little crazy. I'm in the middle of straightening my hair so I can do my length check later. But, um... Yeah, so I color my hair. So, of course, I'm going to definitely make sure I keep up with my deep conditioning and just healthy hair practices. But I'm just kind of over the length check and obsessing over the length of my hair. I'm just, I'm just over it. Um, it's probably around bra strap length now. This is only the rest. As you can see, the rest of it is in a bun. So I was in the middle of pressing it. So I do each section. And this is just the last section that I have to do. Um, but, yeah, so I do this length check. I guess this is probably going to be my last length check for a while. Um. Just because I'm tired of obsessing over the length. I'm just going to keep my hair healthy, um, do protective styling. Um, I think I may start the three, three weeks protective styling, fourth week, wear your hair out thing. Um, so I guess it's basically 75% protective styling. So I think I may try that. I don't know. But again, I'm just going to focus on keeping my hair healthy. Not how long it is. I'm going to trim it occasionally whenever I think it needs it. Um, I'll probably do a search and destroy for um, single strand knots. Um, but depending on how I wear my hair, I may not get them because it's like, with my hair blown out or straightened, um, you know, you don't really have to worry about single strand knots because the hair isn't curly, so they're not going to curl up around itself and not, you know. So, um, yeah, so I'll do a length check video after this one, after I finish pressing all of my hair, and then I'm probably going to trim it after that. So after the trim, I may go ahead and do another quick little video just so you can see the trim, which I don't trim a lot off my hair. I, the trim is just that a trim maybe a half an inch off, maybe an inch, depending on how different the layers are on my hair because um, my hair kind of grows in layers anyway. So, um, yeah, so I may do, I'm definitely going to do a length check video after this, after I'm finished straightening it. Then I'm going to get my hair trimmed. Um, I think I'm trying to have my mom help me with this. Lord help me. We don't see how that turns out. Um, and then I may come back just so you can see it, but a, the difference is probably going to be so little you won't even see any difference, but um, I may come back and do that. Um, this is just another look at my hair color, though. You can see, I guess, I don't know, it looks lighter on here now. Um, I didn't go back and redo the color, which I was going to, but I decided not to. My mom was like, you shouldn't do color on your hair more frequently than every six weeks. But I'm like, I thought the six-week rule was for, you know, the new growth. As you can see, I'm, my roots are a little bit darker, but not much. It's only been two weeks three weeks I don't know about two or three weeks so I didn't end up going back and correcting the color so the color that you're seeing now is the same color that I had earlier except it's just on straightened hair so it probably will look a little bit different but um that's it for this video next video will be a link check which I'll post later on this evening all right bye